Hello everybody, welcome into the Weekly Warrior Preview. I'm Donette Logan with Jerry Young. And Jerry, we're kind of getting our groove back. Yeah, how about that? Two big region wins, and now we're headed to Chelsea. We're going to talk about that in the show as well. Yeah, first time for me going there, so I'm kind of excited. You know, Donette, it's the first time for me too. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I look back, I've never been to Chelsea High School to call a game. I've been there two or three times, but that's interesting. Yeah, same thing for me. We're yeah. also going to talk to our cheerleaders and find out what it takes to make those massive run-through signs that they make. We kind of hopped in on them on sign making day. We're going to talk to Deuce Oliver, profile one of our volleyball players, and then you have Coach Freeman. I'll have Coach Freeman. We'll take a break. We'll come back with all that here on the Weekly Warrior Preview. Shelby Fitz Company is a local family-owned business serving Shelby County and surrounding areas since 1989. You can count on our team of highly experienced installers to give you quality products, expert installation, and friendly customer service. For your next Fitz project, remember Shelby Fitz Company in Alabaster. For quality pest control service from an experienced and reliable company, Mr. Bugs offers residential and commercial pest and termite control service. Mr. Bugs Pest Patrol, 205-663-1919. Brickler Pharmacy on Highway 119 is a full-service pharmacy that provides top-quality products and hometown service at competitive prices. The Brickler family has been in business for more than 50 years and is proud to be a part of Alabaster. Welcome back to the Weekly Warrior Preview. And, Jerry, there's nothing like a win at home. Yeah, because you can stop and get coffee and wake up on yes. Friday nights. That's always <laughs> good. Okay, but, yeah, hey, we beat Spain Park 35-14, to 14, had a good ball game. Mm -hmm. It's ironic, too, because the week before, we won 34-14 to 14 against Vestavia, so maybe we like that 35-14 to 14 kind of range. I'm all That's for our it. numbers, huh? That's right. So this week, we go over to Chelsea, mm -hmm. so you'll have to get coffee on the way. But <laughs> Chelsea is, uh, you know, an up-and-coming 7A team. They, um, they, they uh, lost to Helena, and they've lost to Calera, and they've lost to Tuscaloosa County, which, you know, that was, they were all close games, though. They lost Tuscaloosa County 42-41, so that was a wide-open ball game. Calera, they only uh, lost to them 10-6, and they lost to Helena 28-6. Their only win is against Oak Mountain, a quality team, so they're they're starting to build their season. Got a little worry there. Todd Cassidy is the new head coach as he takes over in his first year, so Chelsea be ready to play. They're at home. I'm going to tell you all, this whole week, that whole town, they know they got us coming in. It, they're they're ready to play. They're going to be fired up. Look for a lot of emotion in the first quarter. Our athleticism, though, should take over right after that. It really should. And one guy that you're seeing a lot from this year, because you're saying his name every Friday night, is Deuce Oliver. You know, I can't wait, Donnie, to say the deuce is loose. I know that's <laughs> I know that's so cliche. And he broke he broke one across the middle. Of, I guess it was last week, and uh, had a great catch across the middle for it. But I want him to get out in the flat. I want him to catch it about the 30, just so I can say it. So y'all be listening on Friday. When I say the deuce is loose, this is this who Donette's about to interview. It's what I'm talking about. So hopefully I can get him to do that. So Jerry is ready with a catch slogan That's just right. for Deuce. Here at Warrior Stadium with Deuce Oliver. Deuce, thanks so much. I know after practice, you guys are ready for a break. So I appreciate you kind of talk to us. I told you earlier, you're really making a name for yourself this year. Is that something you set out to do? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Because the year Pep came off of, and everybody number two is Pep. So I just tried to come in this season and just show them that I can make a name for myself. Yeah, talk about that. You are having a number that has a lot of, a lot of like, like I guess popularity to it with, with, with little Peppins and kind of knowing what all he did. Do you feel like big shoes follow now? Well, not really. It's just, yeah, some big shoes, but I feel like I can feel them and it's easy for me to more well. Anybody else, but it's easier for me than anybody else. Do you think your playing style compares to anybody? Um... I compare myself to like Calvin, really. Like I'm a good route runner. I can get in and out, in and out of my breaks better than anybody else. I'm talking about a little bit your speed and kind of how you do kind of maneuver out those breaks easily. What do you do to kind of prepare for that? Um, really, just a lot of stretching, recovery, and I do a lot of cone drills and just look up cone drills on YouTube. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Yes, so I have to find out a little bit more about you away from the game. Who inspires you? Um, inspire me. It's really just my dad, probably. My dad, he um, instilled a lot into me. You know, he tells me to work hard. He's telling me a lot, even though when I'm doing good, he like I have a good game. He'll tell me what I did bad, and never tell me what I did good. And it's always um, kept with. I already always kept that um, through my football years. Just always able to improve on. Yeah. If you could be anything in life, after high school, after college, what would it be? Um, 
That's a good question. <laughs> I like to coach a little league and use what I learned throughout my years of football and teach it to the youth. I love that answer. That's a good answer. When you graduate, we know Pepin says quick feed and he's got a reputation. How do you want people to remember you? Um, well, it was I had this little thing in ninth grade I called myself All State. When you were All State, you're in good hands. <laughs> I love it, Jess. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you. You know, Jerry, we have to show this real quick. Between the third and fourth quarter, our fans literally lit up Warrior Stadium. I know you couldn't hardly see it from where you were in the press box, right. but they kind of went dark and all the flashlights on their phones came out, and they kind of played one of those songs that you hear at the MLB games just to kind of get that fan going. And I've talked to the players about it. They've all said that when they see those guys do that and see how packed that student section is, it just makes them want to push even harder during a game. So it's kind of cool if you didn't see it between the third and fourth quarter for the remaining of the season on every home game they'll do it. Yeah, that need them to turn the cameras around, <laughs> turn the flashlights around where I can see it. I, it lights up real well, man. You can see it, but from where I am, I'm behind everybody. So yeah, no, it was great to see. Coming up, we're going to chat with one of our volleyball players. A new segment we have on the Weekly Warrior Preview where we're going to profile our young ladies and get to know them a little bit better. Plus, our cheerleaders on the sign making to find out what it takes to make that huge, massive sign that the players run through and Coach Freeman, but first, a word from our sponsors. Hey, Warrior Nation, it's Kim Scherer with Keller Williams Metro South and Kim Scherer and Company, and I'm here with my amazing team of real estate agents who are ready to serve you in the Alabaster area. I've been a part of the Warrior Nation since the 1970s, graduated in 93. My husband graduated in 91. I'm taking it back old school with the letterman's jacket, but we're excited to serve you in this community with any real estate needs you have, and we just want to say, Go Warriors! At Albritton and Artavino Family Dentistry, we know how valuable your time is. So if it's a crown you need, let us take care of it with our same day crown service. We have the latest technology allowing us to build your custom crown right here in our office while you wait. All Britain and Artavino Family Dentistry is here to serve you. Welcome back to the Weekly Warrior Preview. And Jerry, you kind of you're at the arena this season for volleyball, getting to call some matches for Warrior Nation Network. Yep. The ladies are doing pretty well. Oh yeah, they're doing great. It's I tell you, if you've never been to Warrior Arena for a volleyball game, make it a point. That's an exciting place to be. You know, and Jerry, our ladies are kind of overlap with football season, so we decided to give them a little extra coverage this year and profile the ladies and get to know them just a little bit better. As we continue to meet our volleyball players, we have Abby with us, who's a junior for the volleyball team. Let's start with your position here at Thompson. What position do you play for the Warriors? I'm a libero slash DS. Now that's a hard position. When you said libero, I was like, wait a minute, that's a hard position. How did you get that position? Um, well, ever since I started playing volleyball, I like love to pass, and I like pass weird, so like it kind of works well. So that's just how. <laughs> so it kind of fit you, huh? Yes, ma'am. So we were talking a little bit about what you do away from the sport. You're involved in some clubs, but one is HOSA. Yes, ma'am. Tell me a little bit about that organization. HOSA is, like, the best organization ever. I love it so much. It's, like, all about health care and, like, getting high schools prepared for college and, like, just better preparing you for, like, the health field. You kind of light up when you talk about yes. it. So I'm guessing this is very it. important to you. In yes, fact, this is what you want to do, which you want to major in. Yes, ma'am. You want to be a nurse. Mm -hmm. Why be a nurse? Because I love helping people, and I love helping people that can't help themselves. Because it's like some people around the world can't do stuff and like without help. So I want to help them. You mentioned around the world and travel nursing is something you've yes. talked about too. What attracts you to that? Um, I love to travel, and I love learning about new people and new places. I just I don't like to be in one place for a long time. Now you're the middle child, you said. Yes, ma'am. So tell me a little bit about your siblings. Are you guys competitive? Oh, what, how are the bond there with you guys? My sister plays volleyball, so we're competitive. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but my older brothers, they also wrestled, so they were really competitive too. But, I mean, all together, we're not really competitive. They're a very sports family, I'm assuming. Yes, ma'am. So that, how, how do you guys balance that? I mean, mom, dad getting pulled every which way. Well, now that my brothers are graduated, it's not as bad. But, like, when it, we were all playing sports in high school, middle school, it was crazy. My parents, they just had to make it work somehow. <laughs> and they always seem to somehow. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Key Club, too. Tell me about Key Club a little bit. You're involved with that. 
Tea Club is like also like community service mm-hmm. and helping, and it's like just a good organization too. Like, so all I'm seeing a theme with you. You like to help others. Yes, love it. And why do you think what what makes you decide that's what you want to do? Or do you think you're known as the helper on the on the team, or? I don't know if I'm known as that. I think I'm known as the weird one on the team, but I just, I love helping people. I don't know. I've always just like, I felt connected to helping people that can't help themselves. Any hidden talents or hobbies away from the sport? I'm like double jointed. I would, I kind of want to ask you to see that. Oh, (laughs) I had to ask. Abby, thank you so much. It was nice getting to meet you. Thank you. That's a great interview, Donna. We're going to be seeing those throughout the year here on weekly, or throughout volleyball season, I guess, on Weekly Warrior Free. Okay, listen, you can watch some volleyball now because we're broadcasting them on the Warrior Nation Network. You can go there, warriornationnetwork.org, and you can pick up the game and watch some volleyball. Almost all the home games we're going to be broadcasting. So, Jerry, you know, we see the run-through sign every Friday night. A lot of times you're asking me to see what it says. It's that they throw it up in the air. Right. Our chillers make those signs every week, and they also have a competition going on inside the school with a leaderboard. I kind of talked to three of the members of the cheer squad to find out exactly what that competition was. We kind of moved our setting a little bit to the cheer practice gym. We got some of the cheerleaders with us. Ladies, let's introduce yourselves first. We'll start with you. I'm Avery Williamson. I'm Kendall Keys. I'm Mackenzie Abbott. And this is a big day for you guys. This is your sign painting day. And I kind of want to talk about that a little bit. We see the front of the sign. That's what the fans see. Who comes up with those, those themes that you put on there? Um, one of our seniors, Kenley Callahan, she comes up with most of the signs along with Coach Marcus to go along with the theme days for all the things. Now, Kendall, it's, you guys are doing the front of the sign out of fancy, but you also do something on the back for the players. Talk about what you put on the back of the sign. So we put a Bible verse on the back of the sign just so that the football players, right before they go out, they just have a few words of encouragement just so that they can go out there and do the best that they possibly can. Mackenzie, we were talking earlier about who comes up with those verses, how you guys decide what goes on there. So we usually have like all the girls, specifically Riley Tate, usually comes up with like one that she wants to do. And other people are allowed to like like make suggestions, but usually she does it and it she does a great job yeah. with it. I know normally you see the front of the sign, you see the front of the signs all over social media, but the back of the sign has gotten a lot of attention on social media mm-hmm. from other schools and everywhere because it's just you see the guys lined up behind it and the verse there, and it's kind of been really a big part of these guys' tradition. Mm-hmm. Now you've got signs. How many signs do you make? Because I mean, walking down the hall, there's like ten or twenty signs. I feel like there's, there's a ton of them. There's about eight or nine per game yeah. plus the run through and Bible verse. And Bible verse. Yeah. So we've got a lot going on so at the a time. Lot. <laughs> a lot. Now one that's kind of gotten a lot of attention lately is our war zone sign. I see that one over there. Yeah. So maybe think about it. Let's talk about what you guys do to get that fan involvement and kind of get the fan, the team spirit going. Um, we have a lot of engaging cheers where we will yell um, words in the student session will yell back at us. We also make the war zone sign and we also have the um, competition between the grades that we do throughout the school year. Now the competition is one thing I know you guys want the fans to kind of get more team spirit this year. So talk about the competition and the, what you're doing to kind of get more team spirit besides just on game day. So what we're doing like throughout the year in football season is every Friday each grade dresses up and they take point or they like tally up who dresses up and whichever grade dresses up the most gets a point for their grade and then at pep rallies when we play games and whoever wins the class yell each gets a point and whoever wins it at the end of the year gets a big prize which i'm sure all the grades probably want to do that (laughs) now mckenzie you know anytime you have fans it's a huge part but one thing about our small town which feels like a big town you want to drive through and you want to see everybody painting their windows for the warriors and the big community spirit and you guys are putting forth a new effort for that what are you doing to get the community involved in Thompson? So we always do pregame, and we're trying our best to like get the crowd involved. So like the callback cheers, so like the Thompson Warriors at the beginning of the games, trying to really get them all involved into the game, so that they're not just there to watch football; that they're really engaging into it. Now I asked earlier, how many girls do you guys have? Because it seems that there's a lot. We have 20 on varsity and 18 on JV, so 46 altogether. That's a lot of girls. <laughs> <laughs> but only the varsity comes to the games on Friday nights, besides the pregame part. Yes. Now, one thing that you guys do that I love is for our national anthem. I know you guys, you, that's when you used to do one of your stunts there to kind of build. And you do that at the away games as well. I'm noticing when the, the home cheerleaders are not. Talk about that because I've noticed you guys are very, you take that very seriously, which you should. So talk about kind of, you know, the national anthem and you guys doing that to kind of bring attention to it. Um, I think just us taking it seriously and taking it a little more seriously than some other people do and just 
showing respect for it and then building up in a stunt just brings more attention to it. And I think that more people notice it that way and they notice how seriously that we take it. You guys do so much to support our team. So we want to support you guys as well. So you've got some fundraisers coming up. Do you want to tell me a little bit about those? So. I know you got Coke, Coca-Cola is being sold. Coca-Cola <laughs> coming up where we're selling Coke um, in November. And then there's, we're doing in the month of October, we're doing like the calendar where you can pick a day to donate. And then I know we're also selling um, mums, so I think that's about it. And all this stuff will help you guys with your competitions that you have yes. coming up that you're already practicing for, uniforms, travel, anything else that you need. So I have one more question to ask you guys because I cheered and I know this bothered me a lot, but it was part, you put all this work in this, these signs, yes. and in a matter of seconds, it's gone and destroyed. <laughs> Does that ever bother you just a little bit? I think. It, it doesn't bother me because no. I know yeah. that everyone loves seeing the signs yeah. and watching the football players run through. It's like a big look um, or a good look for on our community and our team. So I think it doesn't really bother us that much. I know the second the dads raise it up, everybody turns yeah. that way to see what it says. So ladies, you do a fantastic job. Thank you for letting us come kind of be part of this today. Sure. And we look forward to seeing you each and every Friday night and also during basketball season. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, Jerry, the ladies are selling mums, Coke products, waiting tables at some local restaurants, all to raise money for national. So if you see them, it's a good time to support them. That's right. When they're waiting tables at full moon, I'm there, okay? Hey, we're going to talk to Coach Mark Freeman, and I'm going to tell you what you need to know about game day when we come back here on the Weekly Warrior Preview. Mainline Heating and Air Conditioning has been providing quality products since 1989. They love giving back to the community and they service all of the greater Birmingham area. Call them today or go to MainlineHeating.com. Serenity Salon and Spa in Helena offers hair services for men and women, facials, makeup application, and waxing. Book an appointment at serenity-salonandspa.com or call 205-624-2030. Visit them at 123 8th Place in Helena. All right, Coach, great win last week. We go 2-0 and in the region. That's always a positive, but we got Chelsea coming up. They're coming off a pretty good win over Oak Mountain, so they'll be ready to play. Yeah, um, you know, all wins are, are critical, and it's the next week up, and we got to go to bat, and we got to get a, go over there and play good and get a win. They're coming off of a win, so their emotion will be great. They're, you know, they're a good football team, a lot of speed. You know, uh, size is not their attribute but they got a lot of speed and they and they do a good job getting the ball to the guys that's got speed and and uh defensively they're sound so it's, we got to go over ready to play uh, what about uh you said defense is sound but they they got speed on defense as well they from what i've seen they can get to the corners really quick yeah they do they 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 have speed over there and um you know it's just like every week the teams in this region you have to be prepared every week um, you can't miss tackles. You got to you got you got to throw completions on offense. You got to run the football when it's time to run it, and it, it just repeats itself every Friday night. But you know, it's a, it's a game that we got to go to their place. So anytime you go on the road, you got to leave here and have yourself ready to go. And and our kids will. We've had a really good week of practice. What have you learned now as we're in four games into the season? What have you learned about this team so far? You know, they're they're a different team. Um, I, I don't I don't know that we're. Um, offensively and explosive as we have been in the past, but they're getting where they do good things consecutive. And that's what we wasn't doing early in the year. We was not repeating good things. And uh, we're finding out now what each of them can kind of do. Roman come out of the, out of the woodwork last week, and Roman's got a lot of speed that, um, you know, he hit the screen, you know, uh, last week and had a really good burst of speed. So we, we got to find ways to make that happen again. Corbin and the Deuce are better at, guy, at catching the ball and making yards after they catch it. And, man, what a great night for Kobe Hearn. I was proud of Kobe Hearn. He played great last week. And so our running backs have been productive every week. We've turned the ball over a little bit at, at spots. And we can't throw interceptions. We can't fumble. When we don't do that, we're pretty good. All right. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this week. Thank you. Okay, Jerry. 
new stadium for me, new stadium for you. Yeah, I was going to ask you where I got a park, but I don't even no know. No idea. <laughs> I don't know either. We're all, this is everybody from Alabaster. Let's caravan over there together. All right, so uh, my my grandchildren play at the park there, which you turn right before Chelsea High School and go down. There's a little park on the right for baseball and all that. I know how to get there, but that's a long walk to the back side of the stadium. Yes, it is. So I have no idea. We're going to learn together with all of you Friday night as Thompson, for the first time that I can think of, Takes on Chelsea. All right, so if you don't go, you want to watch it, of course, you can go to warriornationnetwork.org. You can click on the watch now or listen now. Listen for free. you got to have a subscription, as we say every week, to the NFHS Network to watch it. But Philip and his crew will be there with some great shots. Donette will be on the sideline, and, and John and, let, and I will be up in the booth. And let's just say this. When you go to NFHS Network to watch it, click on Produced by Thompson. Thank There's you. been some issues in the where people emailed us, text us, they couldn't hear us. If you're not on our production, we really can't help you. That's right. <laughs> if you look in the bottom, it, this happened a couple of weeks yeah. ago, okay? And people were clicking on the Vestavia thing and they didn't have any sound on and they were complaining, hey, you can't hear us. But, so just be careful, click on published by Thompson if there's more than one choice. I I, I don't think, well, maybe so. Chelsea's probably on the next. Just always better be safe. That's right. So make sure you do that. That way, if you're not at the stadium, you can see the game and hear all the action from us. And we will see you Friday night in Chelsea at 7 p.m.